Authorities claim that that suspect had deadly intentions and that he represents what international terrorists covet the most, an American who is willing to attack his own country. Fazal Shahzad's life in suburban Connecticut seemed perfectly normal. The Pakistani immigrant came to the U.S. in 1998. He had a wife, two kids, and a job as a financial analyst. The family often ate at Red Lobster and Burger King. They all looked happy on his wife's webpage. There she called him my everything. They had little picnics in the backyard. They were always to themselves. According to the New York Times in 2004, after selling his condominium, investigators from the Joint Terrorism Task Force began asking questions about Shazan. They wanted to know details about the transaction. By 2009, his life was unraveling. He left his job. His $200,000 home went into foreclosure. Documents found in a pile of trash outside that former home included passport photos, details about his travels, his student U.S. visa, and a job application which listed several schools he attended in the Middle East, including a program in Karachi-affiliated Southeastern University in Washington. He received his bachelor's degree from the University of Bridgeport in 2000. All of this possible clues to determine who this man is. The Associated Press also reports he once told a real estate agent that he didn't like President Bush's policies in Iraq. Just two months after becoming an American citizen, he abruptly moved his family back to Pakistan. Federal officials allege in a criminal complaint that while in Pakistan, he learned bomb-making training with the Taliban and received money for his plot. ABC News has learned that roughly 200,000 people from the U.S. traveled to Pakistan last year alone, and that presents an extraordinary challenge. It is the sheer volume, uh, frankly. The FBI does not have the resources to open preliminary inquiries on every person that might travel to a country that has, you know, a nexus uh, to terrorism. And that means that some people simply fall through the cracks.